Hello, and welcome to the Addicted to Yarn podcast. My name is Nicole, and it has been a really long time since I've made a video, so please bear with me if I have a couple bumps in the road in, in getting this thing through, but I'm really excited. I had made some videos, as I said, a couple years back, but then they're just, I got pregnant, and it was a high risk, like scary pregnancy. I talked about it in my last video. If you're interested, I won't repeat it for those of you that have watched it. But it was it was scary and it was stressful. And I just wasn't super into crafting as much. And I just couldn't commit to doing pod, uh, videos throughout on a regular basis. So I took a hiatus. And then after I had my baby, I made a video and I was like, hey, I'm really excited. I can be back now. And it was just like adjusting from three kids to four kids. And then right after he was born, I started homeschooling, which was a giant undertaking as well. It was just a little intense. And it was, it, I thought about doing videos, but it just finding the, making the time, it just, it never happened. And so, but I never stopped really missing the community that there is in putting your stuff out there. And then other people are putting their stuff out there and you're inspiring each other and you're getting to know each other. And I just, I love that about YouTube. There's things about YouTube that, you know, there's, there's just uh, some things that are like a negative aspect about YouTube. Like, you know, I see people that um, are doing crafts and they get really down about people like the haters that are thumbsing them down or making negative comments. But there is such a wonderful side to YouTube that people just encouraging and for most of us crafters that knit and crochet and so well sewing seems to be more popular but knitting and crocheting there's certain places at least in the United States where there seems to be a high population of people that do those crafts but as far as like where I live and I know a lot of other people that um, that share in their videos. One of the reasons that we put content out there is because we don't have huge groups of people that live right next to us that we can get really excited and share our stuff with and they could be on the level and be like, wow, that's awesome. And it just, it isn't, isn't there. But here, you know, we could get to know people and because of the technology of it all, it feels like you're right there. So, I missed that. And and even though I still kept in contact with people and even though I still have crafty friends that I talk to on a regular basis on Google Hangouts, I still uh, was really excited about the thought of making videos again. So here I am. For those of you that have never seen one of my videos or for those of you that don't remember me at all because it's been a couple years and that's totally understandable. My name is Nicole. You can find me on the internet. Uh, email is addicted to yarn at gmail.com. You could also find me at Ravelry as N Blakemore and Instagram as N Blakemore One. So I'd love to meet you guys and talk to you guys if you like. I live in Northern California. I live in a small town between Modesto and Sacramento. And um, yeah, so if you're familiar with California or if you're from California, <clears throat> I'm up here in the top of the state. Uh, mother of four, homeschooling. I've been knitting since seventh grade, crocheting since 2010, but I primarily crochet, but I do enjoy knitting. Knitting though, for me, I like to chip away at it. So I do a little bit and then I'll do like a crochet project or two and then I'll chip away at it and... So that's how that usually goes for me. As far as the podcast, just to let you know how I kind of foresee it going, I'm a pretty just casual person that, um, <clears throat> not super formal, just I want to have it lighthearted and fun. And so uh, also I'm not really a yarn snob, so I get really excited when I have fancy yarn, but I am 
I am okay. I am cool with acrylic too. We are, we're, we're all right. So let's see. The way that it's, as far as like the format of it, I'm gonna have my works in progress, my finished objects, my upcoming projects that are on the horizon, my acquisitions that I'm really excited about and excited to share with you guys, shout outs I'll be doing, podcasts that I've been enjoying that you should ch check out, um, books, TV shows, things that, movies, things that I've really just enjoyed. I would like to share because I love it when I'm watching a podcast and somebody recommends a book and I just happen to be looking for a book at that moment and I fall in love with it too. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll also talk about the Ravelry group and actually later on in the podcast, I have an announcement and I think you're going to like it. I'm excited about it. Uh, do, 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 do. Lastly, I will also be just talking about stuff, life, things that I'd like to share, and that will be at the end of the podcast, so that if you basically are just here for the yarn, which I know some, you know, sometimes I am when I watch podcasts, I'm going to get, I'll do that first, and then I will let you know when we're moving from the yarn part to the chatter part, just so, it, you know, if you have to bail, it's all right. Okay, but if you want to stay, that's great too. <laughs> so... Moving on to whips, shall we? Let's get this thing started. I, and I'm sorry that I'm going to be bending down to get some of my whips because this is my third try at this. The first time, the lighting was even worse than it is right now. The second time, you couldn't hear me <laughs> because I don't know why. I think that it's just the regular microphone that's on my computer, it just doesn't pick up sound amazingly. So yeah, so I decided to put in my headphone and I am going to see if that helps. Hopefully it will take care of that. This is Hitchhiker by Martina Bem and I'm sure that everybody has seen this a million times, but I love it. I have 19 teeth. This is made out of Premier Yarns Wool Free Sock Stripe in the color Berry Bush. What I love about this yarn is, look, super stretchy, right? I love it. It's really soft, too. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, and <clears throat> I'm super happy with the colors. I really have gotten attached to it, and I kind of wish I could keep it, but it's a gift. So... At least the person is super, super knit worthy and I know it's going to a good home. So it makes it easier to part with it. So there's my first. Next, oops, sorry. Next is my Cheshire Cat. I am a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. I always have been. I just, it's one of my favorite Disney movies, like cartoon movies of all time. And so, all things Alice are kind of my, my jam. All right, so, if I can get a picture of it, that would be nice. Oh, oh, ooh. Sorry, friends, I grabbed the wrong bag. Uh, here it is. In my marble bag, this is my first attempt at making a zippered bag. I think it came out pretty good. Please don't look too careful because there are mistakes in it. But you know what? Um, it gets the job done. So, so when I say that I haven't gotten much done on this, I truly haven't gotten much done on it. This is the pattern. It is by Sanjay, Sanjay of K&J Dolls. So cute, right? Super cute. That's him. <laughs> And I have a, ooh, I have a foot. That's what I can show you. That's what I've got for you today. A foot. And I'm oh, sorry, this light is super crummy, but um, I'm actually in my bedroom today because, like I said, my husband took over my craft room. But that's okay. We're making it work. Oops. And my computer's trying to go dark. So this is Shocking Pink in Red Heart Super Saver, and Lilac in Red Heart with Love. Please be Red Heart with Love. Yes, Red Heart with Love in Lilac. 
And that is my Cheshire Cat. Next up. Ooh, is a secret project. Ooh, this is my secret project for somebody that I super, super love. So I am in the group um, A Crocheting Hoovian Podcast on Ravelry. The host is Laura, who is my dear friend. Hello, Laura. I love you. And um, I got paired up with another really good friend who is Robin from the Twisted Nerd podcast. She lives in Canada and she's amazing. So you have to check out that podcast. Uh, this is a project that I know she's going to love and I know I love. And I'm telling you about it because once she gets it, I'm going to show you. And I think you're going to think it's adorable too. So this is for her secret project. Next up is now it's time for Cyrodiil. In my Zelda bag, which I made not too long ago. It's my first bag that I made with straps, with an adjustable strap. Again, not perfect, but look at how cute. It has Gorons and little, which are little like creatures in the game. And they almost look like little bears to me. And <clears throat> it has Zelda, not Zelda, Link. And it does have Zelda too on it, but that, that was Link. So in here is Cyrano the Bookworm. Here he is. This is the latest, I feel like this is the latest pattern from Talia Fernandez, who is a co-host of the Pen Hook and Needles podcast. She hosts it with her mother, who is Marlisha. Hi guys. I am a super huge fan of yours. Um, sorry, my fan girling has distracted me for a second. Yes, Cyrano, I'm making him. I'm making him in the colorway Icelandic and flame. Icelandic and flame, those two colorways from Red Heart Super Saver. This is flame. And this is Icelandic. I love it. The, the little glasses are gonna be the orange. And so they're really gonna pop. Now, this too, I have just begun super recently. So we only have this much done. This is the like nose and the rim, bottom rim of his glasses. So he'll be growing though. I, I think I'm going to have a lot more done by the next time that I'm on here. So there's that. The next thing that I have is down here. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I showed it in my last take of this. Mm, this is just a bag that I worked. Man, I keep bumping my computer, don't I? That I worked up. This was one of my OG bags. Just a drawstring, has the lining on the inside, and this is so beautiful. This is the socket hat. Isn't that pretty? It's sparkly. I'm kind of getting there as far as being done with the ribbing. For those of you guys that make the socket hat, doesn't it feel like the ribbing lasts forever and ever? And then when you're done with the ribbing, then it's just <laughs> the knit is forever and ever. But there's something about it that you just can't stop. You're, you're like, I'm never going to make this thing again. And then when you finish it, you're like, I need to make another one immediately. It's, it's a weird thing. So anyways, this is my sock head hat. I'm making it out of... Dun, 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 dun. Wait for it, wait for it. Plymouth yarn, stiletto, and it's superwash merino, nylon, and lurex? Lurex? I think that that's the sparkle, is the lurex. lurex. I don't know. If I'm saying it wrong, please let me know. Lurex. Uh, and it is the color 822. Here, I don't think you're going to be able to see it because the lighting is not ideal. But color number 822 and let me just show you the ball. Isn't it beautiful? Mm, there we go. It's blowing out the colors a little bit. They're way more like deep jewel tones than this 
but, <clears throat> but I love it. I, I'm going to love this hat when it's done. And this one I may even keep. I may. I, I usually end up being like, oh, this one's going to be for me. And then it ends up either getting claimed by somebody or it's, it, I just know that it would be perfect for somebody. And so I end up giving it away, but we'll see. So far, this one hasn't already been claimed. So there is that. Suck it, hat. Next. Okay, so the next thing that I'm working on, I'll just explain to you and I'm going to show you when it's finished. I am working with five other lovely ladies and dear friends on a memorial blanket for um, a crafty friend of ours that we met. I mean, virtually it's through the YouTube community that we found her. It was from a YouTube group. And I think it was a YouTube group on Facebook that we, we met her. But we, we hung out. We Google hung out with her for like a year and a half. We were just really, really tight. She had some medical conditions and um, not long ago, she went into a coma. We did not think that this was going to be something. She was really young. She was in her 40s and she, we thought that she was, of course, going to pull through out of this. And so six of us, and I will tell you who the other people are. There's Kim. I'm looking down at my notes. So sorry if I, if I have to look. Okay, Kim, Sissy Knitting from the Southern po uh, Crafts Podcast, Sarah from Sarah's Corner, um, my girl Jenny from Once Upon a Stitch Podcast, and Azizi from the Chameleon Crafter Podcast. Also, Shay, who is a friend of ours, she doesn't have, she has a channel on YouTube and she watches YouTube, but she doesn't put out videos. But the six of us, all of us are making uh, five <clears throat> 12 inch by 12 inch squares. So there's gonna be 30 of them. It's gonna be a five foot by six foot Afghan. It was meant to be for her, for when she came out of the coma. We, we wanted her to have it so that she could know that we were all thinking of her and praying for her. And it just didn't work out the way that we thought that it would and hoped that it would. And um, so now the blanket, we're continuing with it and we are going to send it to our son. She has a, one child, a 14 year old son, who we all love and you know we just want to send our love to him we want to let him know how special his mom was how loved she was and also that we're thinking about him so uh, I do have my squares there they're made out of just kind of scraps worsted scraps and I, I want to show you the whole thing when it's done I wanted to tell you about it because it's something that's really special and I think that it's really cool this is another cool thing about being in this community of just not only YouTubers, but crafters and people that that really have a passion for doing the same crafts as you is that this isn't the first time there's been another person who we sent a blanket to. And there's another one that not only this one, but I'm making uh, another blanket with some other folks that's a surprise for somebody who is still healthy and alive, but she's had a rough time of it lately. She's had some things that uh, are pretty heavy and so we're we're making her six by six squares and then they're gonna get put together and sent to her and that's just gonna let her know that we were thinking of her so I just think that's pretty awesome and I think that it's a really cool way and since we all like to make handmade things I that's kind of how we like to show our love is that if I take time to make something for you like that I'm just not going to make things for people that um, usually that I don't super care about and love. There are times when you, you do things for charity and stuff, and I understand. But I just think that usually if you put time and effort into it, that's that's kind of a big deal. You don't just, you don't just do that for everybody <laughs> that you know. You couldn't. So, okay, moving on to my next work in progress. Oh, I brought it up here. Yes. This is, I'm knitting a dishcloth. It's in Lily Sugar and Cream. It's in kind of fall colors. I don't have a ball band. I think that, oops, really? Sorry, my computer decided to completely go black and wanted my password again. So 
Okay, this is, I could not poke myself, my eye out. This is called Grandmother's Favorite Dishcloth. Grandmother's Favorite Dishcloth. The designer is unknown, but it looks like this. Super simple, super easy, and very, very useful. I use them all the time. And they're really easy to whip up. This is the perfect project to take with you, like if your kids have a sports event or if you're gonna go somewhere where you have to wait and you want something that's pretty brainless, this is a super easy project. So this is currently what's in my bag for taking to my son's jujitsu and my daughter's ballet. And I've been making some and, and I have some that, that you'll see later with the FOs that I finished. But yeah, that's another thing I'm working on. And I think the last thing, I do have a lot of things in hibernation, but I am going to, just as I take them out of hibernation and actually start working on them, then I'll show them to you. And lastly, this kind of goes along with an acquisition, but I will, uh, I'll tell you about that later. This is one of my favorite bags of all times. It's a you so-and-so bag. It was a gift from an amazing dear friend who knows that I love Alice in Wonderland and just the details, I love the details. On the side of this bag, on the side of the zipper, look at, it's the Cheshire, I don't know if you can see, I'm sorry, it's lighting, I'm gonna try to do better about that. This Cheshire cat, isn't it so cute? And then, there's the white rabbit. Oops, wrong side, flip it. Lord have mercy, come on now. This is the white rabbit, so just super cute. And inside it says, like Caterpillar, Alice, White rabbit. I love it. So the, the acquisition part of this is that this goes with the kit that I, I recently got that I'll show you the rest of later. But it is a Disney Princess crochet kit. It's um, Amigurumi's. It has 12 different patterns in it. Love it. I am making Ariel. This is for one of my daughters. I'm going to make... <clears throat> I'm going to make this one for her, and this is going to be a gift that I give her. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to hold out till Christmas, but I don't know. Sometimes I just get so excited, and I give, I just can't wait for this kind of thing for gifts. I really have just started it, so this is the top of her head. Next time, there will be more to her, but this week, there's a lot of beginnings of things, I guess. So, yeah. So that is my last work in project that I am sharing. Next, we are moving into finished objects. And I have them in this silver shed bag, which I love, love, love. This is my little pony bag. And it's got a strap. And I love it. This was also a gift. Um, my friend sent me like a package. It was, I guess, like a birthday slash love slash she's just super thoughtful package and so you know who you are and I really appreciate it and I love you so this I'm just gonna go through some of the dishcloths that I've made lately these ones as soon as I show them are immediately going to go into rotation in my kitchen and some of them still have strings that need to be woven in so sorry about that but and this is all just cotton. You can throw it right into the washing machine. Awesome. And all of these were made while waiting uh, for the kids' sporting classes. And then there's this one. This is a different, slightly different pattern, but it's also a dishcloth. And I like the... Um, it's like a short row, and I think that that's what it's called. It's on my Ravelry, and I'll actually put the, I'll link it in um, below. But it, this was super easy too, and I like how it turned out. So that's just because I got bored of making the squares for a minute. What else? What else is in the bag of tricks? Mm, this here, my friend, is a road trip scar, and I love how it turned out. It's Basically exactly two skeins, because really this is all that's, oops, and I just unraveled it a tiny bit. This is all that's left. So 
So two skeins of the boop, 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 Lion Brand Landscapes in the colorway Apple Orchard. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. This is a gift for Laura from the A Crochet and Whovian podcast. She, she kind of claimed it <laughs> and I had no problem saying, ah, sure, it's yours. So she's super, super knit and crochet worthy and she's gonna love this. And it will keep her very warm in New York as it's really chilly in the winter there. The last things I'm gonna share, really this is just the last stuff that I've done in like the last week or two. Obviously I've done tons more in the last two years, but I figure uh, I'm not gonna go grab everything from um, like all the toys from <laughs> dig around for the toys in the toy in their uh, rooms and everything because I've made a lot of toys for my kids lately stuffed animals and then a lot of them were gifts and stuff so it would have been just a long slideshow if I was going to put pictures in so I'm just doing a few this is getting caught on my little bit but I made these these are kind of my go-to fingerless gloves pattern. I make at least one or two pairs of these every year. And I love them because they help me to not freeze when I have to get hop in the car and touch the steering wheel. So these are just made out of acrylic and they're actually really soft and I love that I could just throw them in the wash. So there's that. And I think that those are the only real FOs I was gonna show. Oh, well, I wanted to say, I've been totally into making um, Talia. Again, Franciscan Gypsy Designs, the one that made the bookworm that I showed you. I have also made five other of her patterns to date, and that is Bastion the Bluebird, Timmy the Turtle, Mike the Platypus, Bastet the Siamese Cat, and Tilly the Springer Spaniel. I just can't stop making her patterns. They're so fun and my kids love them. They're big, huggable, stuffed animals and they're just really, I don't know, a pleasure to work on. This fun. So, and I like how she writes. She, she, they're all really long. They're, the shortest one is I think 10 pages long, but they're up, you know, they could go up to 20 something pages and I love it because it's all very clear. So, um, so I've had fun making those in the last, like, couple months I've been making those. Upcoming projects. Let's talk about those. This is going to be the next, eh, eh, sorry, it's blowing out the colors again. The Apple Crisp Cowl. This is going to be the next crochet pattern that I think I do. I just love the way it drapes. I think it'd be really just comfortable to wear, to slip on. I just, I think it's going to be really awesome. So I like that. And I also want to make a poncho and I can hear certain friends of mine laughing because they don't like ponchos. <laughs> they think that they just have very um, narrow views about what is a poncho. And I think that it's, you know, the ones that they envision the three amigos wear just those kind of ponchos and I tell them that they're super cute ponchos out now and I actually have a recipe that I use kind of a pattern that I, I haven't written up yet but it's a recipe that I use to make a really cute open uh, work poncho and I want to make one of those this year so that is what I want to make what else do I want to make I want to make two more Talia patterns because I can't stop and one of them is oops the bunny one of them is Ecovi the cat and then another thing I want to make is a bakery bear everyone's making bakery bears and I feel like I need to have one in my life so bakery bear is but I'm scared because I've never made I've made tons and tons and tons of Amis with uh, crochet but never with knitting so I'm a little intimidated but it will happen so there's that I also uh, need to take my socks out of hibernation and I will show you I will shame myself my, my shelf I will shame myself because these have been this far for over a year I finished the ribbing these are plain vanilla socks on my Chai Goo Red Lace, and they are size, I think it's, ooh, 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 ooh. they're size 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter. Oh, come on, don't do that again. Oh, here we go. Why are you? 
<clears throat> Sorry. My computer again went black on me. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, so these, I need to figure out a heel, people, because I have two of these. I have one, and where's my other one? I literally have a pair of socks that is a lot of the way done. That just needs pepper, leave it. It's one of the Yorkies. I have two Yorkies, pepper and no Navi. And so, yeah, I have two socks. They just need heels and they just need toes, and I can't wait to wear them. So this needs to happen, but I just, if you guys know of any super, super awesome sock, like heel tutorials, I have tried the fish lips kiss and I don't know if it's me or if I just wasn't in the right mind frame when I was trying to watch it, but man, I just couldn't get that down. So I want to try that again because I have the pattern of that, but maybe there's an easier heel that I could start with. I don't know. Let me know what you guys like with the heels okay and this is another bag that I made I love Disney all things Disney so <clears throat> okay so I really just have one acquisition that, well two that I'm excited about but one of them isn't quite here yet it's going to be here literally in a half hour when my mail comes but this is like I was showing you earlier this is my Disney princess crochet amigurumi kit so this is the book it came with, why do I keep moving my computer? This is the book it came with, and it came with a hook that I'm not gonna use the hook because um, my hand hurts when I use the hooks that don't have the wide handle. So I like the Clover Soft Touch best, but it gives you, it gives you a hook, and it gives you yarn to make two of the dolls, Cinderella and Ariel, and then it gives you the book with 12 different princesses in it. So I'm going to make one for each of my daughters. Aubrey, my five-year-old's favorite princess is Ariel. Lexi, my seven-year-old daughter's favorite is ch -ch 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 uh, Rapunzel. So I'm making, come on, I'm making her a Rapunzel one. I just think they're so cute. I love the eyes. <laughs> like the eyes are, I just think it's cute. So this is my favorite acquisition. Today, literally in half an hour when the mail comes, I am going to get a Star Wars kit like this. And I'm going to make some of the Star Wars dolls for my boys. They, um, well, my two-year-old is kind of going to love whatever that I give him, but my nine-year-old is super, super, super into Star Wars right now. So that is the plan. Those are my acquisitions for this week, and I am just really excited to get started on those. So, um, um, now is a part that I'm really excited about. I don't know how it happened, but while I was gone, I got subscribers. Um, and I'm super excited about it because it must have been in good faith that, hey, maybe this girl will make a video one day. And so, you know what? I, I like that. Um, I like that. So, I mean, it just, it's, it's kind of like a, um, now my brain's going to just not work, but it's, it's, it actually motivated me to make videos because I'm like, Hey, you know what? Uh, I got some subscribers and I think that maybe, you know, they were hoping for another episode or something. So Hopefully that was the case, but either way, I have a thousand subscribers and I want to do a giveaway because uh, you guys are awesome. And so uh, these are the, this is the way that you can get entered. One is be a subscriber here to my channel on YouTube and go to Ravelry and join the group there. It's the uh, Addicted to Yarn podcast group. Um, two is to like this video. Uh, hopefully you do like this video. It might be a little, uh, you know, it, it's probably going to be a little rusty because it's been a really long time, but thank you for having good faith that, <laughs> you know, you're sticking with me, I should say. This is, this is what I'm excited to do because people, some people have stuck with me. Uh, so 
Okay, now here's the big one. I would love it if you shared my channel on either Instagram, Facebook, or Google+. And if you could just go, and then if you can go to the thread in the Ravelry group and tell me where you shared it or share me a link of where you shared it. And also I would like for you to let me know what your favorite color is and what crafts you do. Because I'm going to personally tailor the package that I give for the giveaway to the person who wins. So if it's a crocheter who likes the color blue, then I'm going to give them a package that I think that they would enjoy personally. I just think that that's kind of fun. So, so that is, that is my giveaway. And I just want to say thank you for those of you that have stuck with it and not unsubscribed from the channel because I stopped making videos. And those of you that subscribed, even though I wasn't making new videos, I just, I think that's, that's really cool. And so yes, good luck in the giveaway. And I think that that is about it for today. I, I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.